Can you do the integration of this part? 3x to the power 4 plus 5 whole power is 6. If yes, please stop my video and just do the solution and wait for the result. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today as we are doing the part 2 of the introduction of the integration, so I have given you the task but before that just, just compare this the same question with our exercise like 20.1 question number 15 and 16. This is the second phase of the integration. Just observe one thing here. 3x plus 1, 1 minus x, 2x plus 5, 6x minus 1, 2x minus 7. When you observe all the questions, you will observe one thing. This inside the bracket or in the radical, you have mx plus c. mx plus c means like in the bracket, the power of x is not more than 1. This is 1 only, mx plus c. But here, the power is 4. So, this is very important to know this. Do we have this type of integration in our syllabus? So, just go through the syllabus first of all. The Cambridge uh, Additional Maths 4037 O levels 2020 syllabus. This is 2020, okay? What's the syllabus when you see this part here? The integ integrate functions of the top form ax plus b power n. You cannot have ax power something the, in the bracket. You will be always having x power is 1. So, it means this 4, this 4 is not required in our O levels at math syllabus 4037. Just remember. So, I want to remove this 4 first of all. Now, this is our syllabus. This we always have in the bracket this mx plus c form. mx plus c means uh, like x cannot have more than 1 power. Okay. Now, when you have this situation, uh, I want to write this is the formula. This which form? This is the second formula of integration. One is simple integration, and second with this power something. Okay, ax plus b power is n. When we do the integration, what we do? Ax plus b power n plus one. And this n plus one again we write same in the denominator, but with a a multiply n plus one and then plus c. This is the basic formula. We have just two type of simple integration, not about the sine, ten, or cos. I'm just talking about simple algebraic integration. We have just two types. This is the second type when we have this situation mx plus mx plus c form. Okay. This is very simple. Okay. Now, when we know this formula, I want to do the integration now. The integration of this part will be what? When we do the integration, 3x plus 5 whole power is 6 plus 1 is 7 divided by 3. The coefficient of x is 3 into 7 and plus c. This is the simple integration. When you simplify, this is coming 21 and that's it. Nothing is there. Normally, some teachers also do the differentiation of the bracket and write it here. I do not do like this. It's very simple. We don't need to do the differentiation here in the denominator with this bracket. Okay. Now, uh, just one more thing. I did the same 20 exercise 20.1 question number 5, but just observe this thing. This part, like this is very simple integration. So this is very simple integration. There is no power. This is very simple. But this here, this is not mx plus c. I would like to like uh, discuss this thing with you, mx plus c here. The power, this is not mx plus c. This is not matching with this. This is not. But one thing here, the power is 2 only. The power is 2 means you can, you can expand this. How can you expand by using the formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. And even I have done the same question in my like previous video of integration. Now you can apply the integration after expanding, after expanding. But just one thing, I just want to say one thing. In, if you see the specimen paper of 2020, 2020, this is the paper that we have the format this year. In this paper, specimen paper, question number 8, A part 2. This is an integration of 5 marks with limits. Okay, 1, 2 is a limit, but uh, uh, I will discuss limit like uh, after some uh, videos. But one thing here, 
if you observe this thing, the power is 2. This is not mx plus c form, but the power is 2. Can you expand this? a square plus 2ab plus b square. When you do, this one is coming x square plus x in square is cancelled as 2 upon x. And here is 1 upon x power is 4. Now, after this, you can write x square plus 2x power is minus 1 plus x power is minus 4. Now, you can apply the integration. There is no problem. And this covers about 3 marks out of 5. First of all, when you apply the limits, the limits, then you can get the full marks, 5 marks. So, please just remember one thing. We are not having like so, so much difficult integration. This is very like the last video, simple integration, part 1. This is part 2, the integration with mx plus c whole to the power n dx. This is my target to do. And let's see what we do. Now, our next target is, uh, our next target is exercise 20.1. So now use the formula, this integration with ax plus b power n dx is always equals to ax plus b power will be increased by 1 divided by this a multiplied by the same power n plus 1 plus c. So the first part, question number 15, the first part is if I just do the first step here so uh, very simple 3x plus 1 power 4 plus 1 is 5 divided by 3 into 5 it's very simple and plus c when you want to simplify 3 times 5 is 15 so we can write the answer 15 and that's we have done part b uh, part B, this is negative sign. Be careful if we do the integration directly. So, like integration here. So, what's the integration? We write 1 minus x power is 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by what is the coefficient of x? Minus 1 minus 1 multiplied by 4. And that's coming what? Minus 4 and plus c. And that's we have done. Here, we, when we do the integration here with minus 3, okay. 2x plus 5, the whole power is minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 divided by coefficient of x is 2 into minus 2 is minus 4n plus c. <clears throat> In d part, what we can do, this uh, integration with 6x minus 1 whole power is 1 upon 2. So 1 upon 2 means... 6x minus 1, 1 upon 2 plus 1 is 3 upon 2. And divided by 6 into 3 upon 2, when you simplify 2 times 1 and 3 is coming 9. So, when you write, so it's all together is coming 9. And this we have done. So, this was the D part, sorry. And in E part, I just give the hint now. This 2 and integration with. 2x minus 7 whole power is minus 2 dx. This 2 will remain outside. Now you can do the integration. There is no problem. In f part, like in f part, what you have to do in f part? You can do 3 minus 2x power is minus 1 upon 2. And then you can integrate. Sorry, the integration. This part, if I do the g part here. In g part, what you can do, 3 upon 5, you can write outside. We don't need to use an integration, the coefficient. 3x minus 1 whole power is minus 6. And now you can do the integration. This 3 upon 5, normally we write just outside. And integration 3x minus 1 power is minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. And divided by 3 into minus 5 and plus c. And just simplify and get the answer. So this is a way, uh, like here, this 4 upon 3 is outside. When you do the integration, this 6x minus 1 power is minus 1 upon 2. And now do the integration with this part. In this part, what you can do, you can just very simple write 16, 4 square is 16. And this, you can write 1 minus 2x, the whole power is 
but 2 when I move up it's minus 2 and then you can do integration so this is the same thing here like uh, this is mx plus c you can write uh, if I just give the direct answer is coming 1 minus x power is 7 upon minus 1 into 7 and plus c and simplify and get the answer this part there is no problem this part i think so all are very simple this you understood this how we can solve and using this formula of integration the second and in algebra we had just two integration formula i hope that this video is useful for you thank you so much and have a nice day